Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello. Down in the valley where the girls get naked. If you throwing bands, then you know they gonna shake it. One, two, break them. Three, four, break them. Hey, thank you for coming to the channel. Dale Snell's 4 Days Word. And we're going to be doing a little recap review on P-Valley Season 2, Episode 6. It was titled Savage. Okay, first thing, come on. We got Diamond throwing our... Um, Throwing Big Bone back out. I mean, he is weighing it, laying it, and saying it. And, of course, Big Bone is enjoying every bit of it. But, the only thing wrong with this situation, Diamond is fantasizing about Keyshawn. Okay? And Big Bone noticed he wasn't all in it. She was telling, she was thinking something was wrong. And she even told the brother, next time I need your eyes on me. Not who you were supposed to have been thinking about. But, you know, he tried to play it off like he was this, that, and the third. And it didn't come off right. He she, he wasn't fooling her not one bit. Okay, and then she got the moseling on round now. In the room while he called himself uh, dumping, I guess, the secretion or cum he had. Which Diamond wanted to swallow the cum. Which I'm like, ugh. I'm not Diamond, but um, Big Bone wanted to swallow the cum. like, Mm -mm. And he was thinking the same thing. You ain't going to get no kids off of me. Nope, nope, no, no, no. So he went out and I guess used the bathroom or whatever. And she was um going around his house into other rooms she had no business being in. And it seemed like she wanted to touch that uh ring that um Diamond had in some kind of casing where it's a protection stuff. And I don't think he told her, don't mess with nothing. Don't go getting into anything. Don't be prying into his life like that. And stay, stay away from that table because that's for protection. So, hopefully Big Bone, we get it, got it, and good, and move on from that situation. Um, then we got Hana Terrica. Well, we got Mercedes over there trying to talk to uh, Shell about, you know, she's bringing her grocery and everything. But she's also telling her about, can she keep Terrica? Uh, get her off her hair for a while until she get herself situated, and she like hell no, hell no, 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 no. And of course, um, Mercedes gets mad and whatever. Then we got um, a scene later going back. We got uh, Terrica actually showing up on Mercedes' doorstep, and she's uh, just crying and carrying on just beside herself. Then, I don't know why this young girl was sitting around here holding a pea stick that tells you whether you're pregnant or not. But this child had brought the pea stick to her real mama and showed it to her, and she was positive pregnant by some man. Who that man is, we don't know. We just have to keep watching to make sure we find out. Okay, then we have, uh, let's see, Autumn and Andre, they finally got that sex scene in. I was so glad for them because I was tired of, you know, every little thing getting in the way. And they needed to have got all of that, adult, uh, we call it adultery, adulterous thing settled, solved, and, you know, they are put it to rest. Because I'm pretty sure Andre is going to get a divorce from uh, his wife. And I don't know, he might take up with autumn who knows okay then we got little murder little murder is talking to Wody about he hadn't heard from rome and somehow um what's his name 
well, uh, murders like how you know he died of an o overdose and then so one and two start to add up to make three and uh he caught the slight hint that he had something to do with his disappearance okay and i was like okay <laughs> but he said t cannot come with us when we go back on tour he just can't i don't care what you're saying what you're doing uh if you can't handle it i will handle it and of course um the murder said he's gonna talk to him but he coming on the road with with us and you know it just is what it is then uh somehow round about the way little murder was making some good money evidently because uh he bought teak a car a brand new car don't know if it was a challenger or a charger or a what do you call that a mustang but it was a fast little ride he gave the keys to um uh, and it came with a little big red bow on it. I was like, oh, look at him. Look at him. I guess he was the male in the um, relationship when he was having going out with Teak and stuff. And Teak was the female. But anyway, uh, he thanked him and all that. And I don't know. He was just all acting kind of weird the whole, throughout the whole show. Which we find out what he ended up doing towards the end of the show. But, you know, him and the murder, they go eat pizza or wings or some kind of stuff and the little uh waitress she's trying to flirt with little teak because he's like skin she loves his eyes and this that and the third and she was like oh, okay uh you know uh yellow bones are in now we we, we coming back to liking y'all and she was just really fl flirting with teak and he was like you know playing like he was real manly man and of course that drove uh little murder a little crazy he was actually getting jealous of the woman but like I said, it is what it is. Then after they got finished doing that, they were supposed to be going to some weed house. And the house that um, T.K. went in to buy, you know, some weed or whatnot, it was um, T.K.'s young childhood house. And he was just really going back into when his daddy used to beat on his mama, his uh, siblings and him. And, you know, then he ended up killing them. And the only reason why Teet didn't get killed was because he ran away. He was quick with them feet. And I guess he got put in the foster uh, system. And then, ultimately, doing petty crimes or whatnot, he got put in jail. Whew. He got put in jail. So, it's like he could never escape his past and what happened to him in his younger childhood days and he was trying to explain it to um the murder but let's murder like you need to pull up that's the past the past we're gonna go forward we're gonna do this that and the third and you're gonna be good but where where the disconnect was when they were at the pizza parlor or the wing stop they were at they were having a conversation about uncle cliff and how uh little murder was explaining to Teak about his other love uh he was being very poetic so in a sense little Teak no un uncle Clifford had worn out and he wasn't even gonna try no more because he was facing demons of his past and for some reason he couldn't get over that hump but uh he ended up killing himself with little murder in the car and you know that was just like catastrophic for little murder and I don't know if a police was called or whatever. Or he walked all the way over to Clifford House. But he went to Clifford for consoling. And honey, they got Miss, um, what's her name? Miss Ernestine out there like she got over it. Okay. Because Toy uh, was doing all that sneeze and talking she had allergies. When in fact, she actually had to over it. Because Cl Uncle Clifford had um, noticed that. Uh, Ernestine, his grandmama, was sweating profusely. And, you know, he don't understand. So, well, maybe her sugar up. And that's why, it's, you know, it, she's doing all this sweating. So, he takes, uh, he takes a temperature. And it's like 102, which is a high fever. And he takes a sugar level. But the sugar level is fine. So, roundabout way, they really figured out. They didn't say, but they were uh, implying that it could have been over. So, that may be a teaser. For us going forward uh, about the situation that we may lose Ernestine. Which I'm like, we don't need to lose Ernestine. We don't lost Teak. We don't need to lose nobody else. And um, 
whoo, they done had her this long in the series. We don't need to lo lose her, okay? Because we got too many stories going on in one segment to where, you know, we need Miss Ernestine to pull through. So, um, Uncle Clifford didn't take her to the doctor yet or whatnot, but I guess they're trying to treat it like it's a cold or the flu, and she'll get over it. But, like I said, uh, Lil Teak, not Lil Teak, uh, Lil Murder finally find his way over there to Uncle Clifford. And he's trying to explain to Uncle Clifford what happened and what was the involvement with Teak and all this other stuff. So, we'll have to see how that progresses next Sunday. But, uh, oh, yeah, that's all. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the main piece of resistance. We got Coach trying to have sex with his wife as well as Mercedes and... Uh, Mercedes not coming quick enough for coach so of course his wife speeds it up by messing with her clitoris down there and she end up coming and so coach get hot fire and mad talking about calling both on bitches that they've been sneaking you know around without him and getting it in without him and his feelings was hurt child she had 40 stacks or uh, I don't know how much money that was sitting on that table by the time he got finished, he was uh, manhandling um, a Mercedes, trying to throw her out the house, calling her everything but the child of God. And, you know, the wife was trying to stand up for uh, Mercedes and trying to get in his ass, too. But like I said, she's a weak woman. Uh, she lets him tell her what it's going to be, how it's going to be, and where it's going to be. And she pretty much, like, you know, trying to get dressed because, like I said, he was trying to throw uh, Mercedes from the bed out the door like who does that so Mercedes gonna try to go get her money he manhandled her got that money and told her to get the hell out of his house and the little wifey okay wife who said she's gonna take care of things and she's gonna get her money she was giving um Mercedes her shoes I'm like uh, she could have walked barefooted baby are those shoes gold that she can pawn uh to get her money because that's not a fair transaction but again when you're dealing in no good shit you're gonna get no shit no good shit thrown back at you so Mercedes should have learned she, Uncle Clifford taught her uh, a lot so when that deal went to where she had to service both of them for 10,000 a week that was some bullshit okay but um that's all i had for uh p valley season two episode six called savage hopefully y'all liked it love it and gotta have more because i definitely am totally in to this particular show so i'm gonna have to go back me and my daughter uh we do uh p valley on our dual channel but we need to go back to start season one and work our way back up because this is a good good uh, sitcom that they got going on minus all the sexual activity but the different pieces that they bring up that they want to highlight in each episode is genius so those writers got it going on katori you got it going on and whoever's helping you with the storyline whoo peace be into you okay and i'll see y'all next video Bye bye